Hey, what's up guys? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are Kalina from Dirty Money, me and my girl Valerie got something to say to you. Like she said, Kalina, please have a serious seat. You know this woman is out here windmilling on fools to defend Diddy? I don't know what's going on, but it's giving me, it's giving me everybody in your life side eye and you like, what did you do for that record contract? And you trying to make it seem like, no, what are you talking about? He was a great boss to me, girl. He got umpteen lawsuits. He got a federal probe. There is video paper coming out. The Rolling Stones just did a take to a takedown. Yes, I will be going live to talk about it. If you watching this on replay, I probably already went live about it. If you, if it's not, but you doing all this mess, and you got the nerve to be sitting here defending this fool? Kalina, what did he got on you? Kalina, what does Diddy have on you? What happened with dirty money? I need to know. I need to know. I need to know. Um, listen, let, let's get into this. First, let's see what Valerie um had to say. She said. She's okay. So Valerie said, Kalina, please have serious seats. She said the employees who have ne things negative to say about Diddy have disgruntled employee syndrome. Girl, let us know that you had to do something to stay in Diddy's employ without letting us know. Let's also not forget there's that video of Dirty Money and Kevin Hart at, at dancing. And Diddy was like, everybody grab a girl. He literally showed like it was the beginning of like a free, it was weird. Everything on Diddy's life is weird, but let's get into this because baby, I have to laugh. Listen to what she said. And then we're going to talk about the very serious accusations. Not everyone. She said, um, uh, not, at, oh, I'm sorry. Glock topics on Twitter said not everyone who Rolling Stone reached out to had something negative to say about Diddy. Singer songwriter Kalina Harper says one of the highs of her life was joining Diddy's dirty money group in 2009. She was later invited to work with Diddy on the love album. She said he was effing cool as ish. Now there are pictures of Little Rod in the studio with blank workers and all this mess around. Kalina, you ain't see this? Is Kalina, is Kalina married? Does she got a boyfriend, girlfriend? I don't know, like whatever it is. But let's see. Kalina, I just need this. Hold on. Kalina from Dirty Money Family. I need to know why she's saying this. Listen to what she said. He was effing coolest-ish. Adding that the artists who blame Diddy for the trajectory of their careers may suffer from disgruntled employee syndrome. Disgruntled employee syndrome. He said that in reference to the Rolling Stone doing a six month investigation and reached out to over 300 people to conduct dozens of interviews with Diddy's former friends, acquaintances, employees, and bad boy artists. Y'all, is she serious? I, I, I fear she is actually serious. Let's talk about what she said Diddy didn't do. This is disgruntled employee syndrome. Because you know what? I want to talk about it. Because I'm sick of these mofos. Because you're trying to what? Let's see what your home life looks like, okay? Um, what does she have? She's married to Tony Vick. I don't know who... Tony Vick is, he has 11 kids to seven baby moms, along with at least three grandchildren. Okay, fine, right? The whole point of the matter is with this situation is it's giving, you don't want the people around you to know what you were into. You're trying to play innocent. It reminds me of the people with Harvey Weinstein, like Jennifer Lopez, how we, not sorry, not Jennifer Lopez, Jennifer Lawrence was like, he never tried that to me. And everybody in the industry was like, he didn't. Because that's why you've been in every Oscar winning film with your acting skills and that face. Anyway, right? no shade to Jennifer Lawrence, but that's what people were saying, right? They said, um, listen, they said, uh, again, she, uh, they said that she, he beat, he offered cash to witnesses. He beat up any people in the all uh in the office he did multiple reports say that he beat his girlfriends in school they literally said that he was in an actual office and he beat up an exec in the office it was wild it was wild listen what can you say they say listen Federal investigators say at least one male blank worker who claims he was been victimized by Combs has been questioned during the investigation. 
It has been expanded. They're contacting people that they found on tapes. Federal agents are in possession of a video taken inside of Combs recently searched residence. The majority of plaintiffs who have filed civil suits against Diddy have been interviewed by federal investigators, but not even that. The Rolling Stones went out of their way to talk about, they saw Diddy beat women in the offices of the record companies. They saw freak offs. Little Rod has pictures of freak offs. Girl, Kalina, I don't know why she said this. I don't know why she tried to separate herself. Maybe she doesn't want that on her, but you worked with Diddy. And did you think that this was never going to come out? But a lot of people work with Diddy and thought it would never come out. But my whole thing is, what is this? He was coolest ish to me. Girl, you're so worried about what the church, I don't even know if she's in church, but let's just say, what the church, your husband, your friends and stuff are going to think that you are literally going up defending a man that has been accused of all this stuff. And all you can say is he was cool with you in the studio. Do you want an effing cookie? Do you want a gold star? And also, never mind that what you're saying seems pretty unbelievable. Let's also not forget when Kevin Hart was partying with Dirty Money, Dirty Things was happening in that house. Let's also not forget when Kevin was interviewing Diddy, there was a, a Dido laying on the bed behind them. Remember Gene Dill in my interview, go ahead and watch that, said that Diddy liked the whole, you know, whatever play. Let's also not forget at all. Let's also not forget at all that at the end of the day, there are really people victimized and there is a demon running around Hollywood. If you believe the witnesses, Diddy says he's still innocent. We'll see what happens. I don't believe it, but we'll see. Maybe he got magic mic. Jonathan Davis thinks that he can be like, poof, the moose. He thinks he can make everything go away. Let's see. I ain't never seen a legal strategy like this. But my point of the matter with this is, why are you coming out and defending this man? You were just drawing interest to yourself and you're defending him. And your defense might be one of the things that helps him go free. So because you don't want people to look at you sideways, you won't let a demon run among the hills and feast on the blood of other people. At the end of the day, how can everybody saying all this stuff be disgruntled employees? They were talking about him beating people, robbing people, to cheating people's already been. And also for your career, Kalina, what career did you have outside of Diddy? What career did you have outside of Diddy? Because as far as I know, Diddy did the same thing to Dirty Money as he did to everybody else. Again. I don't know why she's saying this. Maybe her husband's looking at her funny. Maybe the people in her life, maybe she wants to prove it didn't happen to her. But there has to be a better way to do that besides throwing everybody else under the bus that actually needs public support, public sympathy, public encouragement, public everything. We are getting a case. We are about to cast out a demon from our, from our communities everyone's community, but our community, first of all, and you always have to say he was effing cool as ish, right? Adding that people who blame Diddy for the trajectory of their careers may suffer from disgruntled employee syndrome to a man that is known to have stolen publishing rights, bad deals, and let's not even talk about the things they're whispering about that he did to Biggie. Y'all, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. No, Kalina, you better delete that tweet. Oh, you better take, uh, walk it back, do a Kelly Price. No, when I said he deserves mercy and I forgive him, I meant like, uh, 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 you better rewind it and try it again. Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.